keyword research. Today we're going to do a short video on keyword research. First I want you to go to Keyword Planner in Google, do a search, click on the first result. You're going to log in with your Google AdWords Google account. You need a Google account to be able to sign up and have access to this tool. Now you get several options that you can do. You can search uh, for a new list of keywords. You can get search volume for an existing list of keywords. You can get a traffic forecast for a list of keywords. And you can multiply your keyword list to get new keyword ideas. So you can see that if we um, click on these things, we get different options that allows us to do. And also some help tips as well. So we're gonna let's click on this one. This one's fine. You can test them ball out and see what options it gives you and what it doesn't. Next thing I like to use is sometimes I think I can think about the best keywords um, just off the top of my head, which is great. But then I have different areas and different cities I want to add to, and sometimes there's different, um, you know, different other keywords I want to connect to it. And so you can use this tool, which is called KeywordMixer.com, to allow you to combine the different keywords together so you don't miss anything. Um, so when you click on combine here, it puts all the keywords that you, um, you know, from the different combinations, uh, from each box, you can only fill out two columns if you want, or you can fill out three columns. Um, you can add additional things as well. So you can make sure to get all the different combinations without having to type them all out one by one by one. Uh, so a little bit easier and less mistakes will happen spelling or missing a keyword then we can uh, do a couple things I like using keyword um, Mike's keyword tool now this tool is nice because it'll allow me to uh, paste the keywords then I can go to AdWords and I can use uh, I only want exact match all right, so I'm only looking for those exact keywords. Now here, here you can see that I can type in exact match or broad match, but they'll give me different results. So if I only wanted to see the exact match for this exact keyword, then I would use that. And I kind of like instead of seven days, um, it's it's showing monthly forecast. So that's okay as well. And let's go ahead and get forecast and see what it looks like. All right, you can see here that it's uh, telling me, you know, where the impressions are, how much it's going to cost, and we can dig down even more, and we can get some more information here. And it may not give us the details that we're looking for. Um, we may have to put a bid in here, hundred dollars, thousand dollars. There we go. Now we've got some some data in here. Uh, we can see what type of clicks are going to happen, what type of impressions, but they not might not be the information that I want. Uh, this you can get pretty detailed here as well. But let's go back to the keyword planner. And let's try this one instead. So again, you can put in keywords. This is going to give me search volumes, which I think is a little bit better for what we need. So let's go ahead and make sure you have all this filled out. Go ahead and go to search volumes. Now I can manage it a little easier. I got all the data here. I want to sort. Sort by average monthly searches. I can also sort by competition, suggested bid. You can assume that if the suggested bid is high, that it's worth a lot. I mean, it may not get a lot of searches compared to another keyword, but it's worth a lot more. Now, don't don't think about too much about these search volumes. It's just a comparison number to compare from one to the other. So um, then you can take this information. You can download it. You can download it to Excel. You can save to Google Drive. Um, it's 288 keywords. It's going to give me all the different columns that I need. So now I can, you know, take this information um, and I can send it to a client. I can, uh, you know, understand which keywords I want to use. So that's 
a little bit, uh, gives you a little idea on how to do some keyword research. So you can delete here, um, send this to a client, or it gives you an idea what keywords you want to focus on, which keywords you don't want to focus on. Thank you.